My name is Amina Khadus and I'm a photographer and a visual artist uh, based in Cairo, Egypt. And most of my work deals with concepts of memory and identity. My work really started from discovering the archives of my grandfather in 2018. Uh, a lot of projects uh, were really inspired from the images that I found. Uh, specifically reimagining um, how Cairo was back then through these images and kind of reflecting on my own present and seeing how my present relates to the past and vice versa, how the, the past also relates to our present now. So in a way, I was really having this sort of uh, moment of identity crisis where I'm questioning my own identity in the midst of all these changes that we were going through in Cairo. So, um, so I've really taken the time in BlackRock uh, residency to dissect the archives more, work with the, with the archives materialistically in a way to look at the images itself, leaving my camera behind and not being the photographer anymore, but being the one that's being informed from the photographs that I found and looking at how the images that I found kind of in, um, in a way can build a story in itself, how the archives already tell a story. And so I was really interested in exploring different photographic techniques such as the cyanotype and even more uh, trying it on different textile materials uh, such as cotton and mixing it with indigo. For me doing this residency has given me the time and space to just reflect on the technique itself. For this project, um, and for the archive, for this project specifically, I'm talking really about the concept of absence and presence, meaning negative and positive spaces. And for me, the cyanotype technique and the indigo itself is really talking about, is, is really playing with the negative and the positive. You're kind of twisting the fabric, you're, you're um, tying it in a way that what's, what's going to be hidden is going to be the white surface and what's going to be exposed is going to be the blue surface. So in a way, the process itself reflects pretty much the, the concept that I'm talking about. And um, for me, this project is really about the presence of the people, of my people, in, the, in their own physical absence and vice versa. Their absence in the presence of their archives. So in a way, it's, it's like a play, you know, it's, it's a game between what's there and what's not there and trying to see through these archives and through these um, different techniques what I can bring out and what I can hide. And it really also goes back to um, when I found these archives, um, is that most of the people in the photographs, I don't know. So it's about memory and it's about loss and it's about trying to, to re kind of go back and remember and reconnect with people that are part of my family, but I really don't know anything about. I think what really is passed on from my work is, is the value, the concept of value, valuing your own memories and valuing the time. Um, not only this, but also valuing the memorabilia itself. I'm really hoping that people, to open discourses and that people would understand the value of our history and the ancestral generations and what's, what they have left us and how we can pass this on more and not just to basically throw away the archives or, or to not give it its own, its own value, but, um, but how these archives in a way tell the history. Because I really believe so much in the individual story and how each individual story, if it's put in a collective story, it can really write the history. And I think what's missing in our history in the, in the continent is these gaps. Uh, basically, someone from outside is coming and writing our own history and we're not taking the agency to say, to tell our own story. And so this is really what I'm, I'm, I'm mainly in my, all my projects I'm tackling is to, is to have the, um, the autonomy to tell my own story and, and basically the way I want it to be told and how the story can be passed on and how the story can trigger a lot of people and impact other people to tell their own as well. <laughs>